Okay, I'm going to open Architectural 2012 and uh, withdraw box. I'm going to do a um, camera view of the inside of the box. And on that wall, I think I can open the wall in a camera view. Yeah, I can. Okay. Go to wall covering, <clears throat> click on add new, <clears throat> and we'll find that subway tile stuff. I think it's under tile. Uh, solid. Yeah. Okay. So let's just, now let's pick out something that will stand out a little bit better. We'll use this stuff. Okay, so I got that on there. I want it to be floor to ceiling, so we'll make uh, the floor to bottom zero. And the height, uh, I didn't check to see what the height in here, but it's probably set to eight, nine feet. And we'll set it to 108. Okay, that worked. Now, <clears throat> in terms of changing this, of course, you. You saw in the library browser that there's other choices to pick from. You go over here, tile. And um, I think it's solid. Yeah. There's several colors to pick from. But let me show you what you can do with just inside the software. We'll use this uh, material, adjust material tool and click on the material and open this dialog. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I'm used to working with Pro and, and with the uh, Cheap Architect Premier and the dialog is different. So I may have egg on my face here pretty fast. But, we'll see what can be done. I don't see any way to do much with this in architectural. Oops. I'm going to click on that. No, that just changes the texture. Rotate angle. Brightness. Well, shoot, you can't do what I'm used to be doing in Pro and uh, Premiere. It can alter a, an existing material by applying a color to it. That's not a choice in architectural. Fiddlesticks. Okay, if you got Architectural 2012, well, you're in bad shape. So that would just eliminate the and that just eliminates the uh, pattern altogether. Well, okay. That's disappointing, but uh, I hadn't realized that, that limitation was in architectural. Let's open um might as well show you what I was thinking of. Open Pro 2016 <clears throat> and do the same thing. Okay, we'll do the same thing. Draw a box and okay.
I think to save time, I'll just use the uh, material painter. Whoops, get down there. Okay. Now I use the materials. See, this is a dialogue I was looking for, and it doesn't exist in the architectural. Now you can go over here to the texture tab of this dialogue, and see right there, blend with texture. Uh, let me. Sh we got this at black right now. We'll go over here and click on material color, and we'll just uh, take that and make it lighter. And then you go back to the texture tab and click on blend with texture, and you get a different color. There's where I, that's what I was going for, and uh, apparently in uh, sweet architectural uh, interiors, essentials, so forth, this ability doesn't exist. Terribly sorry. So you could take. Uh, you do that with a different material. We'll pick something, a different color. And then uh, adjust material definition. You get this dialog here. You alter the color in the direction you want to go. That's a nice color. And we'll go over to texture and blend with texture, and you get a variation that way. <clears throat> That's what this video was about. I didn't realize when I started that it, it's not applicable to architectural, but it does apply obviously to Pro because that's what we're in right now, Home Designer Pro 2016, and of course uh, any version of Cheap Architect Premiere. Well, sorry it was a kind of a failure in terms of uh, what you have, but uh, the truth will have to serve.